Yo guys, so I hope you're all having a really good day. Um, I want to start off today's video a little bit different. I want to, uh, firstly I want to apologise. I'm really sorry that I haven't been uh, uploading content. I know I've gone from like uploading daily to uploading weekly and sometimes not even that. And the main reason for that is just because I've not been doing anything fun. I've mainly been um, just working at my laptop. So I don't really want to be uploading videos of me just sat here in my chair just editing. All my work lately is just editorial animation based stuff. So it's not really the most exciting thing so my days are just running all the way through till midnight one two three o'clock in the morning just cracking on with editing trying to meet deadlines um, the other reason is a bit more of a personal reason um, my dad's been not very well and uh, that's been a massive worry for my family and I and um, I just want to say he's he's come through and he's he's had his operations and stuff and everything's gone really sweet and he's uh, heading straight towards making a recovery it's going to take time but it's good, so that's a massive weight lifted off all of our shoulders. Um, so yeah, the uh, I've got another thing that I want to apologise for. Today's video is going to be uh, about working on the projection thing up at um, Kent Uni. I did have days and days and days of footage. However, the other night we went out to go watch some really, really epic lorry. I didn't have much space on my phone, started rapidly deleting videos. Turns out I've deleted loads of the footage. But I have got the last time I was there all that footage so I'm going to chuck that into an edit and you guys can watch it so I hope you enjoyed today's video Yo guys so I hope you're all having yet another awesome day as per um, the reason why I've done this video kind of like this is because when I'm actually at this venue place I've got my kit bag trusty kit bag Oh, there's a thumbprint on that screen. One sec. Yeah, so the the last bit of video you just saw, which was probably just a few seconds ago, um, of was last week, so that was a week ago, and um, that was the first time that we were in that new room, the new studio. If you remember from a few videos ago that we were in another room where I was uh, situated up quite high, looking down at the... Uh, at the gauze this week we'll have the gauze again last week we didn't have it in there because i don't know why but we're going over early to set that up so the project's going along really good um since last time i've changed some of the material a little bit corrected a few things and it's quite a cool project because we was originally curating it all i can't remember what i've told you before if i've said this before i'm just gonna chop it out um we was originally going to try and make individual videos for each section so we could just hit play and it would be quite easy and we just need a cue for the, the start of each video and maybe just to fade it out at the end. But as time has gone on it's, uh, it's kind of shown us that we can't do that and the reasons for that is one, that the dancing is never quite the same or like the timings are never quite happen exactly the same. So what that means is it means chopping up the footage into certain sections and making bits into loops so they can just continually play and adapting some of the other stuff so it, it can be made to, to happen whenever. So within the software we use Resolute, you can make things just loop over and over and over again or you can make it play to pause or play to fade. So some of the material like some of the stuff I'll show you today, um, like the one um, on the playground wall, that's four, that's three or four videos that will just play to pause and then to cue the next bit, I just hit play again and it will cue into the next part. So it will make sense later when I show you on. But yeah, it's um, feeling really confident about how today should go. I'm not in control today. I'm passing over to John, the guy I work with, and I think he's gonna take control from now on because I've made all the footage, so he's gonna kind of curate the show. So that'd be pretty cool. So. Yeah, I think we should, uh, I think I should put the camera down. We should crack on and go and get there because you're probably quite close to my face right now. This is what always happens when you're cutting it fine for time. Can you see out there? A tractor and a huge line of traffic. Just got here, I think I'm about five minutes late. Let's put that down to traffic. <laughs> um, hope this thing isn't too noisy so you can still hear me. We, yeah, I'm up at Kent Uni. But as per usual, we're in this building today, the same one as last week. This is called the, I think it's called the Jarman building. But, I don't know, it's pretty smart. It's just full of studios, try not to get run over. And I think I've got to go 
to the back of the thing because also I've got a key card to get in. Let's hope the door's open. Let's go see. Hello. Reach for stars. So I'd say that went absolutely great. We had quite a lot of footage, well, we had basically yeah, something for everything and there was only a few minor tweaks that need to be done for next week. So I've just got to kind of tweak a couple of things on two of the 18 videos. Maybe there's more than 18, just two of the videos. So that should be pretty sweet. I'll get it done tomorrow night and then uh, we'll all be set for next week. So for this job, yeah, I'm feeling good about it. Time to go home now. I'm gonna end this three day over three weeks video right here. So thanks for watching.